to have a review is going to be much less so we're going to do a lot more digging we may not do, you know go out to the to the company's site as much it's going to probably involve a lot more testings that are in-house ratio analysis things we can do in the office and therefore it provides only limited assurance so sometimes that might be all you need if you're, if you're talking to the bank and you're looking for a loan or whatnot a company needs a loan maybe they don't need an audit maybe they just need an assurance maybe they don't need us uh, digging into a, to a full audit that would cost a lot more money if the bank only wants uh, reasonable assurance with a review then uh, that may be appropriate in those cases of course a publicly traded company is required to have audits non-publicly traded companies may have many types of situations where a review would be a good way to go uh, let's let's take a look at a chart here so if we had an examination we're saying the assurance level is high so we're going to say we're, we're given high assurance that the that the financial statements if we're talking about an audit are are correct that means that the that the risk of a material misstatement is low so if we look at the financial statements and you say uh what are the odds that there's a big misstatement on the financial statements well if it's been audited the risk of the of a material misstatement a misstatement that would be uh relevant to decision making is low it doesn't mean there's in not in material misstatements but if it's in material it shouldn't affect the decision making so uh, assurance report we're going to issue a report for these things and usually if we're talking about an audit somewhere in the standard report that we'll take a look at later it's going to say in our opinion so that's going to be it's going to be in our opinion it's going to be part of the report uh, procedures we're going to choose from all available procedures in, uh, any combination that that can limit risk to a low level so we're going to do a lot more procedures in, in the audit we're going to do the analytical procedures we're also going to pick from procedures that we think can lower the risk and that could include you know going out to the actual site and digging through things like invoices and whatnot and actually you know observing things and whatnot and then we have the review and remember that a review is a lot less so we're going to have the assurance level is only moderate it's not as high a level of assurance if we're doing a review as opposed to an audit therefore the risk of material misstatement is moderate so if we're looking at the financial statement what's the risk that there's a that there's a material misstatement well it's it's, it's moderate it, you know there's a higher risk than if we did a full audit and an examination if we do a report a report would say something like we are not aware of any material modifications that should be made so you can see that that's a lot more kind of lawyery and in not giving uh a full assurance there in that so we're given a reviewed opinion there and notice we're never going to say in the report that we guarantee anything because that's legally uh not a smart thing to do because it could expose to liability so in this case we're saying we are not aware of any material modifications all right so often limited to inquiry and analytical procedures so what are we going to do in a review usually it's going to be more of the stuff we can do in the office we're going to do you know ratio analysis probably and uh, compare the numbers from last year to this year we're going to do some some ratio analysis in there and see if there's uh, unusual circumstances unusual information we're probably going to do a lot less of going out to uh, the company and digging through and doing uh, more observations and that type of thing in the review process as compared to the audit